Welcome back to Behind the Box. Today we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming Kickstarter game called The Old Hellfire Club. This was sent to us by designer Jamie Frew, so thank you very much to Jamie for doing that. This is a preview copy that we're looking at, so just keep in mind that the things we show you, while I'm pretty sure everything is final, are subject to change still, I think, so it's just worth saying. In The Old Hellfire Club, players will be recounting their greatest adventures, trying to earn more pennies than everyone else to buy gin. The only problem is another player may hold in their hand the evidence that disproves your claim. Helping you tell your story are hands of these evidence cards that you can play to attract the attention of patrons. The higher the card value, the more pennies you can earn, but it's easier to disprove. So something we really like about this game versus other storytelling games is that everyone is working towards the same story that's been decided, essentially the punchline, at the start of the game. This keeps everyone on track and it doesn't incentivize people to just burn all of their cards to try and end their story as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. There's also a nice risk reward with playing cards because you can choose to play a bunch of them. The problem is any one of them can be disproved which means then you don't earn any points that round and you've used a lot of your cards. So it is a nice like balance to the mm -hmm. game and keeps everyone involved that way. Another nice thing is um, play continues around the table so everyone stays involved and it's not just two people disproving each other. Mm -hmm. Now this is actually something that we got wrong the first time that we played the game because I don't know why, but just for us, it felt like more natural that the person who interrupts and disproves then continues the story. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that was something that we got wrong the first time. Yeah, we also really like the setting of this game. This Victorian era theme, it's not something you usually see. The cards are really, really fun. It's very funny when somebody mm -hmm. is telling their story and they go, oh, I was attacked by this big guy with a cutthroat razor. And you go, no, I was there. He attacked you with an umbrella and you were <laughs> terrified. No, it was a small girl. You know, you just kind of made that little tweak to the story and everyone laughs. Now with most of the card types, that works perfectly. It's funny, it can apply in any context. For us though, and this may have just been the groups that we've been playing with, when you have like the people type mm -hmm. and it's all historical people, that lands a little bit flatter for us. Because somebody makes a claim, oh, I was hanging out with the Munchie Abdul Kareem, and then someone else goes, no, you weren't, it was David Livingston. Everyone just kind of goes, oh, okay, you were just undercutting him and disproving him. It wasn't funny. Now, like I said, it might be our group. We might not know enough about those yeah, people. Yeah, we're not history buffs. <laughs> yeah, for your group, maybe that is funny. I don't know. We'd have preferred to have seen sillier things in the lower like numbers for those cards. So instead of David Livingston, maybe it's the crazy beggar that throws cats at people. And so when somebody <laughs> says, oh, I was talking to my friend Charles Dickens, you can go, no, 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 it's not, it's not Charles Dickens. Everyone knows it's just that crazy guy. Why do you think that's Charles Dickens, you know? And it makes it funnier. People get to laugh then in the same way that they do with the other card types. Now, when the Kickstarter comes out, it's going to have more card types and potentially more cards with those topics. So we'll see what that does for yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. But all in all, we really, really loved yeah. this game. And we're so excited for the Kickstarter too. Jamie's got tons of cool ideas, monocles, dueling gloves, a cool wooden box, and even actual 100-year-old coins. Yeah, these are add-ons to the <laughs> Kickstarter, which is just so exciting. Yeah, really cool. So that's going to go live on the 9th of April. Mm -hmm. So that's when we'll put the description down below so you can go check that out yourself. But until then, meanwhile, there is a print and play available. So we'll link that down there for you, as well as all of our normal social media. But until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Now, with most of the card types, that works perfectly. But we have found that for sorry, us... Sorry, can we start over? Because I was like doing a really cheesy grin. Like, right oh, into... it's at the start of the yeah, You should sorry. be like nodding. I should be like looking yeah, at yeah. you like you're saying something. Yeah. yeah. Ready? <laughs>